the hashtag as always is the Stan K E. So many tweets coming in through my handle here at Ramaguko and the station's handle at Y254 channel. I'm seeing here Kevin Smile, uh, Smile Kanasema. Uh, we can only speak for ourselves. No one can and will speak for us. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing uh, at Patan, and I am always watching, loving the candid discussion. Dan uh, Douglas is saying that uh, great words from the panelists. We shall sample uh, more comments as we continue with, the, with this conversation. Uh, before we went for the break, we were coming to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, to pick up from where I left, mm -hmm. the main challenge you mentioned young parliamentarians, the main problem they're facing is that most of them are trying to conform to the long-held uh, dogmas and theories and the behaviors and the patterns mm -hmm. of what has been there historically. Okay. They're not reading that the times of time have changed. How are they conforming? You, because you want to be arrested, you want to do something, you want to go and heckle somebody, you want to abuse the president to be seen, to be visible, mm -hmm. you are creating negative visibility. So the other thing is that this negative conformity and aligning with the past we have to elect young people who are cut above the rest. When you go to Bunge, you must find your own space. Don't try to be copycat. Being copycat has been a big problem in this republic because we try to copy paste what's in already developed economies like America, which is over 100 years old, and bringing them into the republic. So we should not conform to what we see but we have to be cut above the rest. Fast forward, for our electorate, mm -hmm. we have to be pragmatic, like in Muhoroni. You have to choose the kind of person, be it in Sambweni or any part of the country. We have to be pragmatic. The current trend is that we choose whether the cut is black or white, provided it can catch a mice, it's a good cut. That kind of theory, theory is wrong for our republic. Mm -hmm. As young people, we must take our position. We must leave something to be remembered about. We must be different in our time and be the Mandela of today, the Barack Obama of today, the Pio Gama Pinto of today, Uhuru Kenyatta of today, and Raila Odinga of today. Uh, the two, if I'm concluding, mm -hmm. the two leaders, uh, Raila Molodinga, the Prime Minister, and uh, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, they've already helped our country. That's why I'm telling you we must preach up to the republic all the way to my constituency, Muoroni, you, you by doing one thing. They've brought peace and tranquility to the republic, and we enjoy this. We have to tap into this space as young people you have, a, you, you and have, grow the economy. You have mentioned a word, yes. pattern, yes. following what has been there. Yes. Now, there are principles that govern and yes. guides uh, the conduct of public servants yes and uh, these are clearly stipulated in various articles of the constitution yes. and i'd like to start chapter six, chapter six. Yes. uh-huh oh, good we are flowing with you <laughs> <laughs> on leadership <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. and integrity, mm -hmm. which prescribes that, con that conduct of state officers and Chapter 9, mm -hmm. uh, Article 153, mm -hmm. which enumerates responsibility and accountability in Cabinet. Chapter 13, Article 232, uh, which uh, whose course principle and values of, uh, highlights course principle and values of public services. Mm -hmm. Now, there are, now these are things that we can use to uh, to have a checklist mm. when it comes to our leaders, ensuring that there is integrity mm. and that the core pr principles are kept in line. Mm. Following these articles of the Constitution, mm -hmm. do you believe in your stand mm -hmm. that we are being given the perfect example as youths mm. from our leaders? Following this. Yes and no, Ram. And let me tell you something today. Dealing with the youth of this country is very simple. Simple in this fact. Who are the youths? What do, where are they? And where can we take them? Mm -hmm. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Youths are speaking one language. Economic empowerment. The youths are just trying to demand for space in this country and how can they be listened to by our so-called leaders our leaders who are youths 
who are representing us now today and i want you to listen to me very carefully they are being it's either they are being they're not speaking from their own voices they're not speaking from their own stance they are speaking the languages of their political party leaders from the, the languages of their sponsors mm -hmm. when it comes a time that the leaders of this country will realize that if we give the youth the power and the thought and the importance and the seriousness that they deserve and they cannot never do that why because if they empower the youths the youths will lead this country and will bring forth a revolution ram but i want you to listen to me very carefully please give me space to speak uh -huh, uh -huh. ask yourself why yeah. the youths today are not being empowered ask yourself that simple question ram ask yourself that simple question why do you and think it they're starts not? from there you feel they're not being empowered they're not being empowered the youths are not being empowered we have so many projects by uh, that have been led the by government, government led initiatives let for the me youth. tell you something today the youths are being used to bring forth leaders into different offices now what can you can be it will be in the zoom the kiss while in the beginning to allow you to move that that's a move leo he may become a key go go walk is yes uh huh nitangali and you know me mean attack a kitty flani me youth because the bubble he mentioned something the youth think about today and our parents think depend on the youth my youth how on a kazi now you see it not a couple please our we want to please our parents we want to make our parents proud unapata wana siyasa wana kuja wana tupatia vigi pesa tunasema alhamdulillah leo ntapelekea mamangu shilingi kumi ntapeleka nani osiptali aweze ku kuifadika na mimi nasema hivi his excellency the president of this country needs to have the thought of the youth at heart okay someone uh, uh, thank you very much for that uh, question. As young people, we will not wait for anyone to give us our space. That's the pattern that we've seen, and you asked about patterns. Mm. This is visible in our country, and the only thing we have to narrow down and uh, isolate, at least pick one low-hanging fruit, mm. is to equip our young people with skills. We are in a global economy. Kenya is the giant in this region. If you devolve more money mm. uh, down to our counties, you're empowering young people. Mm -hmm. You don't need to collect all the young people in the republic and tell them, today we want to give you jobs. We have to create our jobs. Remember, our economy is now in our palms as young people. As a global young CEO, uh, I have to say that Giving young people their space in the country starts with training. We have to have more training institutions locally. I beg to differ. Uh, just I'll give you mm, your time. Mm, mm. Yes. It's always good to. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I just finished your part. Yeah. Have good training mm -hmm. because if you train and you have good skills, you have a population that you can tap into, not only for this region, but people who can go and serve out in the world. For example, Mm -hmm. uh, the good thing is my time. Mm -hmm. The young person who went and trained in West Virginia and learned about uh, 3D printing and went back to Argentina and did print one of a limb for a young girl mm -hmm. who did not have limbs, and the young lady got back her life. Wow. So we have to have global thinking and outlook of the world. Let me narrow reach down. out, yes. reach out, and narrow down to our small community, mm -hmm. where people will not only judge you according to your skin color, according to your race, according to your religion and what you believe in, but to the smallest world, which is your village, your constituency, your university, your church, and still your voice is heard. So but it's the thing that the government needs to do is to amplify the voices that are there. Let me, do let, economic let me amplify the voices of people staying at your constituency, where you're vying. Yes. 75 of the farmers that depend on sugarcane farming. Yes. We are talking about employment. Yes. How, what, what is the solution in regards to reviving Chemelil sugar and uh, Muhoroni sugar? Thank you very much for the wonderful question. The only way to uplift the voices of our mothers down there in Muhoroni and our sons and our daughters as a parent, mm. first of all, we have to list those factories. 
have to add to the voice of our people and the people of Moroni is that we have to list the factories mm -hmm. so that we, we weed out the cartel that's working in the sugar industry, boost production, mm -hmm. so that a mother down there mm -hmm. would only need two trailers to the factories and get her 40,000 shillings, she has her scholarship to pay for the children. Mm -hmm. You don't need to depend on bursary to take your children to school. So we have to list these factories, have our own terms and conditions, at least have something going, better half a loaf, as we improve and try to leapfrog Muroni back to where it was. Muroni was a European settlement scheme, well yeah. endowed with everything, and we call it uh, Canaan, the prime min our prime minister is normally talking about. With expansive land, we don't need much help. What we need is, first of all, don't inject much money mm. there. Retrain the thinking and revive our factories. We have over five industrial uh, installations within our area. We have to agree with the people who are leasing the factories that you have to take this percentage of young people and employ in the factory. Mm. You have to give us a certain number of scholarships per year to train our kids, to reduce the burden <laughs> on education. Now, you, you've talked about uh, the young being given something. Yes. That's what you've talked about. Yes. Let me mention one thing that the young have, uh, have been given. Yes. Now, President Uru Kenyatta mm. had initiated the National Hygiene Program, popularly known as Kazim Taani, mm -hmm. with a twin objective to putting food on the table for the youth who have lost their means of livelihood, mm. as well as improving health and sanitation mm. in the informal set settlement. Mm. What do you think about this initiative of, of Kazim Tani? What are the hits and the misses of this project? Let us give credit uh, where it's due, Ram. Eh? Yes. That was a very beautiful initiative. And as the youths, we were very, very happy, and uh, we even thanked uh, publicly thanks to the president for such a wonderful initiative. But let, let us look at what is happening on the ground. For example, I will speak on behalf of um, Samboni constituents, Rame. Mm -hmm. It's not everyone that was uh, the representation of the youths in that program in Samboni constituency was, was, was not in, in a proper manner. It's How only it the locals. Look? It's only the locals who are the diggers <laughs> that were put into that program. In Samwani constituency, we have 40, all the 47 tribes. I'm having a very hard time mm. as a youth who does not, uh, they think that does not come from, from, from um, Samwani, but I'm born and bred there. They're telling me that, Madam, we are, we are, the representation here is being biased. Is it possible for everybody to be represented into the, in that program, Ram? Kwa mfano, pale tukiangalia, kabila zingine zote tukiangalia wale vijana ambao walichukuliwa katika kazi mtani, ni locals, which is a good thing. Lakini, is it possible? Tukue na wale vijana wote na kabila zote, hata kama si wote, lakini tukue na baadhi pale. So, so you, 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 unasema, um, it is a good initiative. Dio. It is a good initiative. Um, people have been taken, the youths have been taken, but your problem is representation. Representation. Okay. So, Equity and inclusivity. Yes. You had your time. <laughs> and, 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 and I wanted to tell you, Ram, stop yes. being biased. I mean, uh, uh, I think he spoke for, for seven minutes or so. And I, I also need to speak. And I'm giving you time. Uh, yes. Give me time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is a very beautiful. And the question that you asked him eh, mm -hmm. about uh, Moroni Sugar, and I was so happy that he really expressed himself and he talked about uh, what he needs, he thinks needs to be done about that area. And I wish that you ask me the same question with regards to Msamboni constituency, Ram. I, I was coming there. I was Please. coming there. And allow me to but, answer you but, but before. But finish, let, let's finish up on the representation uh, the issues of, of, of The representation of Tani Pale yes. Msamboni constituency mm -hmm. inafanyo kwa ubaguzi. Ram, tulia. Uh -huh. Inafanyo kwa ubaguzi. Tunelewana, uh -huh. Pale Msamboni constituency vile metangulia kusema kuna kabila rubaini na saba. Tunashukuru mwishimi wa rais, that's a very, and I will repeat, nisieleweke kimakosa. Uh -huh. Lakini kuna kabila rubaini na saba, chifu wetu pale katika zile wodi zetu tofauti tofauti na faku elewa ya kuwa. Vijana pale msamboeni, si wadigo peke yake, Aya. kuna wakabila kabila. Nini ni, ni mefanya ili kupata solution? Kitu ambacho ni mefanya kupata solution saizi, uh -huh. ni kupaza sauti. Ni zungumze rais ya nielewe, uh -huh. na wale watu wetu pale chini msamboeni na viongozi na governor wetu, mvuria. Anielewe na nisikize kuwa hile na ni raise mekuja na yoni nzuri sana na tunaipenda. Na mimi ningependa ni kujibu ilo swali ataka moja ni uliza ram. Ilo ulo muliza ni uliza ni kujibu. Ilo swali la yes. constituency. Yes. Aya. 
What is it that you're going to do in Samweni constituency that will change that area? That is not the question you asked, but let me now speak uh, on behalf of Samweni constituents. First of all, so, like a COVID-19, COVID Tulia. COVID-19 imetuathiri sana sisi kama wanamsambweni pale kwa sababu tunategemea blue economy tunategemea utalii tunaelewana ni ombi langu kwa mheshimiwa rais kama COVID-19 inaendelea kuisha vijana wetu anafaa kuwa na ufahamu ya kuwa vijana wetu wengi wamepoteza kazi ram kwa sababu vijana wetu wengi walikuwa wameajiriwa kazi maotelini na mimi nataka kuleta solution na nataka mm -hmm. kuleta wazo. I don't want to just put forth problems. Uh -huh. Mheshimiwa rais, shule zinaenda kufunguliwa. Tunataka door to door campaign ikuwe inafanywa na my youth. Kando na kazi mtaani, atafute my youth na mimi nazungumzia msambweni constituency wafanye door to door campaign ya kuhimiza watoto wetu warudi shuleni. Pili Eh, Minister of Agriculture kabla ya COVID-19 kuanza walikuwa anataka kuanzisha mradi kule Lamu ya kuleta wapemba sijui moja sijui ishirini kupeleka wavuvi deep sea ndio waweze kupata ile hali ya uvuvi wavue samaki ya kutosha hmm. tunasema waanze na msamboni kwa sababu msamboni imeathirika zaidi kuliko kuliko eneo zote zote kweli sisi kaunti tano tunadependia blue economy hmm. lakini mimi hili ni wazo mimi na um, um, najitetea mimi kama mbunge wa pale Lazimu kama kwe, kama mjumbe nimetumwa mm -hmm. mimi nizungumze na nipaze sauti. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo kwanza tuangalie wale vijana waliopoteza kazi, wapatiwe kazi. Na ah. rais sitaki kumpatia kazi ya kufikiria mambo mengi. Do to do atuanze campaign na simu sambani peke yake Kenya nzima. Alafu tunataka tu revive pale blue economy. Tuletewe sisi ka, a, wakimalizana na Lamu wakuje msambani wakuje kwale. Tupeleke wavuvi deep sea, wafundishe vijana wetu, walete kazi kwa vijana. Na mimi sitachoka kupigania vijana na kuzungumzia vijana ram. Kwa sao, sababu sao. sisi Wacha. kando na vile wanazungumza wanasema sisi tumeamua kama vijana, tunataka kujitegemea. Hatutaki sisi kuletewa letewa tu kwa sababu uh, tukula. Let, let me come to you Dr. Samuel. Kazi mtaani initiative. What are your thoughts in regards to that? Uh, this is a good initiative and uh, we have to thank the president and the leadership. Mm -hmm. It's good to give a uh, thumbs up where uh, it belongs. One thing about this, it's, it's not a new thing. We saw Kazi mtaani uh, when President Kibaki was in power and this is another form. The only thing is that uh, in our country and the world, I like talking about the world because we are global leaders, we don't have to only think locally, is that our country is on wrong footing for the young people because there's no meritocracy when we are selecting even the people who are handling Kazim uh, Tani. Meritocracy, selecting people on merit to look at the resources that we have. Yeah, There's no pragmatism. The same same issue that she raised. Yes, there's no. Prag I'm, I'm still on my point. Mm -hmm. There's no pragmatism, and our big hedge, which is honesty, in Kenya, we do not. We're not honest in some quarters. Mm -hmm. So, for honesty, which I will emphasize on, is that honesty is linked to corruption. Every young person in this republic wants to own an apartment in Karen. They want to fly choppers. Mm -hmm. They want to be dollar billionaires. And that's why we are seeing COVID millionaires and billionaires. So we have to talk about the big hedge, which is corruption. It's dogging our community. It's a malignancy. It's a form of malignancy and a cancer that we have to weed out. So Kazim Tani, if we pump more money into it, but we should not wait for government. Mm -hmm. As young people who travel the globe and we know and we know where resources, most of our MPs are sleeping. The only ch charge and discharge. I'm given 120 million to serve my people. After that, it ends. Mm -hmm. A good leader must think mm -hmm. of how to use the letterhead mm -hmm. and rubber stamp mm -hmm. to get extra money mm -hmm. through looking for grants. A grant is knocking a door. You can go to Safaricom and talk with them and tell them, I need, I need a scholarship for seven kids. That is using your letterhead and rubber stamp well to collect resources. So you must use your rubber stamp and letterhead to collect extra away from what you have to do what you want. Otherwise, we in hard times as a republic, we have to allow the president mm -hmm. uh, with what he's doing, mm -hmm. he's supporting, he's trying his best. 
we are facing a global pandemic. Mm -hmm. We are only seven months into the pandemic. It's like flying a plane and building it at the same time. And this so, pandemic is so what just, has just really as I conclude, the for the president, they are trying their best, but our leaders must be creative. Use your rubber stamp and your letterhead to get more money to your people. You've talked about what using your rubber stamp and your letterhead to get more money for your people. Using what you have to get what you want. Let me talk about using the youths. Mm. How is it that we can be able to avoid misuse and abuse of the youth as it has been normalized in most of the political seasons by politicians in uh, order for them to gain political mileage? Let it's me... simple. Yes. Empower them economically. And that is a topic that you people don't like talking, <laughs> talking about. To me say mahapa. Nene, to me say ma leo. Mm -hmm. Empower them economically. Come on. Listen, when you empower one economically, we will not be speaking about bursaries. Because I will t if I want to take my child to uh, America to study there, it's possible because I have money in my pocket. I mean, if I want a youth to stand for him or herself and mm. campaign without the, the interference of other political bigwigs, it's possible because this, this youth has money in his or her pockets. But that is a topic that we don't like talking about, Ram. But, 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 but then uh, how is it that we can be able to get the youths to be able to avoid being blindsided by short-term uh, What dates? are the policies we put across? For example, our political parties, I have said this before, mm. when we are talking about uh, the two-thirds general rule, let us also include the topic of the youths being included, the topic of inclusivity and equity, especially for the youth. Let us not only bring up this topic because, you know, okay. two-thirds gender rule, it's women. No. Let us talk about the youth wholesomely. The Office of the Registrar of Political Parties. What role does this office, this uh, bodies uh, play? For example, you, you understand? For the youth. Uh -huh. For the youth. No, 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 it no, no, starts with that. Dr. Simple. Samuel, Dr. Samuel uh, you're taking regards to this. Using youths for political mileage. Yeah. Is it possible for us to avoid such a thing? She has talked about empowerment. Yes. Uh, empowerment is a broad term, global uh -huh. term, uh -huh. that has never been achieved. We have to look at the realistic side of life, and we look at a political statement, and mm -hmm. look at a, a religious statement. So the term empowerment has been used in a vague manner by the political class, and uh, that's quite cynical. And it has really harmed, it's really pushed down our self-esteem as young people and make us believe in populist kind of politics. So populism mm. is what's actually directing young people into that kind of lifestyle to be utilized. So, for example, in, in my hometown, Muhoroni, uh, the beautiful canon that we have, <laughs> we, the first thing to make, to protect our young people from this is to make our community attractive. What do I mean by saying attractive? Uh, the coastal region is all about tourism. In my hometown, we have waterfalls. We have uh, the hometown Kisumu, we have Lake Victoria. We have so many other tourist attractions. So if you attract places, then we look at countries that have not done any miracle to make their countries attractive. Look at oh, Rwanda okay. as, a, as a country, as I conclude on that. Mm, mm, mm. Rwanda is a small country, a country of a thousand hills. But they've positioned and coined the right term. We are the cleanest city, Kigali, mm. on mm -hmm. in Africa. Kigali. Yeah, mm. we are the hub tech of Africa. Mm -hmm. Dubai positioned themselves as the biggest, the largest, the tallest. But they did not have anything, mm -hmm. and that has made people to stream into their country. Right. So to link it to young people, mm. if we make our communities attractive by making people to move, attract business to our communities, young people will become busy because they are more informed. They have more information, we'll have more business, and we'll have policy-based politics and not populism. How then, you, 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 you've mentioned being informed. Mm. Being, uh, knowledge is power. Mm. But empowerment. Now, a young man <laughs> may have the empowerment. Mm. But let me bring in one, one final aspect, political parties. Mm. They are empowered, yes. Mm. But do they have the independence? independent mind or their independent ability to do what they want with the knowledge that they have? 
you know, and this is my opinion, eh? Mm -hmm. the, uh, our, our political party, the famous political parties that you have, and that is uh, the Orange Democratic Movement and the Jubilee Party. I don't think they, they trust the youth that much. And mm -hmm. I think it is time that they need to realize that all the fresh minds and all the fresh ideas and the ideologies that will change this country are with the youth. But there is interference. But there is interference. And that is interference is the one that we are trying to... And for example, mm -hmm. for the by-elections in, in Msambweni, news is everywhere that uh, some people from uh, other counties are trying to interfere there. And I'm going back to the same message that I was trying to put forth before. Mm. <laughs> My colleague has been putting, bringing big, big grammar and English, yeah. but the youth need to listen, to, they need to hear a very simple message. Mm. Empowerment, employment, and maybe education. And you know, he said empowerment is, is broad. Mm. Are we together? Yes. That interference needs to be stopped. Our political it, parties need to build trust in the youth today. Because we have fresh ideas and we mean well for this country. All these things that we're talking about have been tried and tested before. All these leaders that you're seeing in parliament and everywhere, they have been youths before. But we need to ask ourselves one simple question. What is it, what, what, what is the narrative that they were trying to sell in their time? Has anything changed? For example, Ram, let us look at the employment opportunities that are there today. Mm -hmm. For you to be employed as a youth, you're being told for, when you're applying, you need to have 10 years experience as a 22-year-old fresh from the university. And these are the things the youths are, are want to hear. When my brother is talking about Rwanda, talking mm. about where and where, he needs to start from where he is right now. Mm. He needs to speak the language that his constituents will listen to and will understand. Now, now because, of the, because of the interest of time, I, I would like you to, uh, to, to have uh, one word as you wrap it up and then we, get, we, we head over to the tweets just with the, in, in the next 30 seconds or so to wrap it up uh, uh, in, uh, in brief. Okay, you cut me short, but because you said the 30 seconds now, yes, yes. Uh, as a politician and as an aspirant of uh, from um, Samweni, yes, wrapping it all up. This yes. is what I'd wish to say. Mm -hmm. We are requesting His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga as our party leader, ODM. Mm -hmm. We are four aspirants who are vying for uh, the, the the seat now. Samweni. Yes, um, Samweni um, mm -hmm. parliamentary seat. We do not need interference from anywhere. We know ODM is about equity, we know ODM is about equality, and most of all, ODM is about justice. We want a fair playing ground, we have our people on ground who are, who are rooting for us, and we will make the party proud. Sasa hivi tunajua ODM pale, tume tungukwa na mambo mengi sana. Na kama Raila Amolo Odinga kweli yeye, Anatupenda sisi kama wana msambweni. Awache sauti ya msambweni pale itawale. Okay. Sisi tuna support BBI, mm -hmm. mimi personally na support BBI. Lakini BBI isipoguzia maneno ya youth, nitakuwa mmoja wapo wa wale ambao watapinga BBI. Sisi hatutaki kumpinga Raila Molo Dinga, lakini tunataka azungumze maswala ya youth. Ya na nikimalizia, ndugu yangu nikimalizia. Mm -hmm. Tunataka a proper handshake. Tunataka rais anapoendelea kumaliza wamu yake kama rais tunataka a proper handshake between Raila Molo Dinga, William Samoei Ruto na Uhuru Mwegei Kenyatta hatutaki awache inchi ikiwa katika hali ya fujo ikigawanywa katika misingi ya kikabila katika misingi ya fujo na katika misingi hiyo ambayo wanajaribu kuleta and right. reggae must continue reggae must continue yes uh, <laughs> thank you very much I'll uh, talk fast forward uh, for a few minutes mm -hmm about the question you've asked. I want to assure my colleague, Madam Miriam, English is our talent as people from the lake. <laughs> and uh, so don't worry about the English we speak. It's, our, it's a Queen's language we speak. Yeah. So talking about the party, I'm a life member of ODM. Hmm. And uh, we're in ODM to stay. Hmm. We are looking forward to a good, good contest. The difference between me and my sister is that she's already facing an election. Mm. Right now, we are not yet firebrand and charging. We are still talking policies, mm. the ones uh, you were talking about. ODM has good structures for young people to thrive. But interference will never end. They are like patents in the world. I'm a scientist. Patents, right now you see people hacking. Even the American election, they, were, they are right now, I saw on CNN that there are 
thousands of millions of hackers who were waiting to hack into their system and influence election. So we have to only prepare and be psychological, psychologically strong for interference by being more adaptable as young people. If we cannot join the system and be more adaptable, learn because we have more information okay. than, than the, uh, as I conclude, we have to be more adaptable, do our research, and embed ourselves in the system. Okay. We're asking uh, the Prime Minister, Raila Molodinga, give us a fair election. Yes. With the new board, we have faith in you mm. that you're going to do it, but whether they're going to deliver it, your guess is as good as mine. Mm. All right. Yes. Uh, now, thank you very much. Le 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 uh, um, uh, at Elijah Wangari, and I said, we need jobs, we need employment, we need industries, we need talented development yes. in Mashinani, we need youth-based policies, we need, we have been yes. overused by politicians in the name yes. of empowerment. Let them now create industries and thus em employ us. Uh, Kwale uh, at Sam Luli is saying, Kazim Tani was a very good initiative by the president, we were very happy about it, but what is happening in, in Samboni is that only youths from one tribe are being considered while all the tribes in Kenya live in Samboni. We have at uh, uh, D, uh, uh, what Elijah is saying, Nobel Prize winner Professor Oluwole Siyonka says that it's only in Africa that thieves regroup to loot again as the youth whose future is being stolen uh, clap. All right, one more um, message here. I'm seeing Frank is saying, move on, Daktari, and uh, take over Moroni. I have your votes here. <laughs> you are you. a sober man Thank who you. can bring change in Mohoroni. We have, uh, let me get one more, one more tweet here. At uh, Charlotte, you have a namesake. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlotte is saying, uh, my namesake is doing uh, uh, quite well. Very uh, vocal in, in her words. Very good discussion. Thank you very much you. for your tweets. Mm -hmm. The hashtag is the stand KE. I wish you guys well. Thank you so Keep much. Keep doing what you're doing. Asante sana. That brings us to the end of this uh, evening conversation tonight. It has been a pleasure having you. See you again next week. Remember, leadership is not given. It's it taken. is taken. taken. God bless you. <laughs> Have a good night. And we only need to trade across the border. <laughs> with other communities.